just give everybody a reminder that if you just tune in, the singles starts at around 7 o'clock this evening. Up until then, it's all the group stage action from these team events. Get through at least one, possibly two matches in the singles later this evening. And then we're going to start later tomorrow so we can show the conclusion of the singles which are after seven o'clock uh, but being here on my own i want to go and have some time so i'm going to get some food this is the player i was talking about earlier on this adam brown england b international told me that uh, he's actually just got a spot in the england a side due to his averages in the recent tournaments so he's delighted with that England A International from the World Championships onwards, I believe. short side on this red ball fancies run, rolling this one along the rail wow trust in the pockets trust in the the rail there as well very very good finish there from Adam Brown to give his team a 4-0 lead in this Good start here for the team from Oxford. People's Elbows, whatever this name relates to, I'm very unsure. The Bears with some work to do then in this game if they're going to try and get something out of it. A point would get them through to the next round, the knockout stage, the last 32 tomorrow morning. So if they could draw this at 12 12, that's gone enough. No doubt in that, so it's uh, the lad from Oxford back at the table to well, try and mop up, I think, from here. finish so 6-0 now the lead feels that it does well try and play it in off the yellow is he going to get lucky with no he's not so he's left it quite tight on that red ball as well so in one sense there's 
the word he has got lucky I can tell you that uh, on the other table the Bears look as if they're just about to put their first black ball down in this match and he has it wobbled but it's gone in so the Bears have got on the scoreboard it's a bit like my county side last month we were 9-0 down after the first set against Wiltshire good finish here as well if he takes this uh, yellow along the rail close to, oh, I would have played the plant I don't know why I'd play it. I'd have played the plant along there leave the other yellow there it's easier to flick the ball out for the black to middle he obviously fancies and trusts that these uh, rails are playing true and uh, there you go you see hard to play the plant along the rail first time because you had a little bit of error then to miss it as well but he's trying to take on the plants again and just moves the red out into the open so this yellow now really should be sunk nudge off the red lands perfectly then on this black ball for 9-2 and they're putting up a little bit of a fight after going 9-0 down so Adam Brown again to break for people's elbows I'd love to know what the reference is I'm gonna have to ask him what this people's elbows thing means Katie's uh, his girlfriend tuning in again Good clearance this is on the red hit for the Bears. He came over and just made a comment that they're on the comeback. Slowly but surely. But you know, if uh, one team can win nine in a row, then the other team quite capable as well. Just needs to get on this black. I didn't mean literally on it, but he has ended up literally on the black. That's unfortunate. Because up until that point, it played this rack absolutely brilliantly I think it looks too thin a cut now to play this into the middle I think sometimes you just got to hit the ball a little bit more positively you know allow it to react off the cushions they are saying the players are saying that the, the tables do seem to be playing a little bit slower than normal in here but it's a big big room this one with very very high ceilings so that could be the reason you know the heat of the room doesn't necessarily reach the tables as it were and I say the heat of the room it's actually quite cold now I've actually put a jumper on myself so it could be the thing that's slowing the tables down slightly more than they would be normally this is going to be an interesting shot. Well, he's had a go. Not a bad effort. He took, tried to take the double on. But I'd expect someone of uh, Adam's capabilities to take these yellow balls out here.
one tricky ball really the one along the rail but should still be able to run that along the rail and still squeeze the ball back out for the black to the centre so may well leave that one till last I can't see an obvious ball that's going to allow him to develop it possibly the one to the left middle may allow him to uh, pop the one to the left middle and flick well you've got to pop the other yellow first Adam careless Yeah, controls that nice. It was a good run out in the first place. So 9-3 now then to people's elbows as the Bears do continue their bit of a comeback. A very, very good solid finish, this one. Black ball, and they've stopped the comeback. It's 10-4. Just...
So just the two frames that are on, then two more in this match. We might get close to a start on the 130 session actually with this one. Played on two tables, so a bit faster. Rolls that ball out nicely. Give himself every chance to get on this red. Good shot as well to move the black slightly closer to that middle pocket. Didn't quite get the contact that he wanted. Well, they've cut that black ball by some distance there. So they want to the right middle here. It's got a natural collision with the yellow just above it, so we don't have to worry too much about pace. In fact, playing a little bit harder might have been okay. I came around and had a look the one to the left middle, but I think the one to the right middle is the better option here. I just felt that the cue ball wasn't running ideally for him. He's got he's managed to land on a yellow to the top right. its way in and he has found a way to get shape on these last two yellows not ideal he's going to have to screw into the cushion or he could just run the cue ball forward and nudge into the yellow no, he's gone to the cushion first but he's taken his eye off the pot but he has snookered the guy from people's elbows a go. Could have been worse, I think he says. Pot in the yellows is no problem here, it's just whether he can get shape on the second yellow from this one in the corner. It's not, you might be able to just uh, flick off the left hand side of this with a little bit of side and come in behind the eight. No, you don't want to follow it in. That's definitely not what you want to do, especially when you give him two shots. got that as 16-6 uh, at the moment there's one frame being played in the background one more to go I think Split on the balls as well. It's a good start to this frame.
on the frame, then the score is now correct, 17-6. Looking like 18-6, I think this would be a breaking dish, this as well. For the first one I've seen on the TV table all day. We're getting, we're getting nervous now. Oh, he's played that well, but does the black go to the corner? Oh, this, this should be it, the people's elbow. Yeah, good finish. 18-6 and winners.